Oh, uh, it works. I can set 0, 0.0 volts. And here the same in the Sophia. I can set 0, 0.0 volts. And beautiful, again, beautiful weather outside. A little bit of clouds, mostly sunny. It's got around 12 o'clock or something, noon time, and the battery is already fully charged. Oh shit, this is actually 20 past one. Okay guys, welcome up to another video here from the off -grid Garage. It is a follow-up video from the last one when we did the sodium battery discharge test to zero volts and it didn't quite work because I thought, I thought the EBC tester cannot discharge down to zero volts. So we used the DL24P tester which couldn't download either to zero volts. It stopped at 0.6 and we ended up with this weird curve with the wiggles because the voltage went up and down when the tester turned off and on again. But someone in the comments mentioned actually I can use the big tester, the EBC A40L, the big Chinese cracker, because this supposedly goes down to zero volts. Well, this morning I had another look at the EBC A20 tester and hell yeah, I can program it to 0, 0.0 volts and it also starts the discharge test. So obviously it can discharge to this low voltage and I can also set this voltage here in the software. I don't know why I thought the CKE tester cannot discharge that low. Obviously I'm getting too old for this job here. 82,000 people helping me making the right decisions here. And also thank you very much to SF Star, the developer of the Victron integration into Home Assistant. And in the last video I mocked about it a bit because it stopped working. It is still stopping working for me. But he suggested to lock a proper fault ticket so he can look into it. So thank you very much for that. I wasn't aware he is watching. Maybe he watched only this video because someone told him I was complaining about his integration. Or maybe he's a regular viewer. Anyway, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. I love your work. Um, so, without further ado, let's get back into the EB tester software, start the charge test to 3.95 volts, and then we turn it around and discharge all the way through from 3.95 all the way down to 0 0.000 volts. Take the full discharge curve and have a look what is actually happening between 1.5 volts and 0 volts. I also will press the monitor button at the same time here. Once the discharge is complete down to 0.0, .0 volts, the EB tester software will then not stop recording the curve. It will just keep continuing and we will see the curve going down to 0 volts and then immediately goes up and have this recovery curve, let's call it this way. And yes, someone left a comment as well. This is normal with all the batteries, regardless which chemistry you discharge to zero volts. As soon as you take the load away, the voltage will recover because they have the internal chemistry stuff, whatever. Okay, we are done. We just heard the click. Uh, discharge 0 0.65. I still go with 0.5C. Cutoff voltage 0, 0.00. Monitor start. Okay, we are discharging the battery now with 0.65 amps all the way down to 0, 0.0 volts. I guess I will see you again in two hours. I'll go inside, edit some other videos for you guys. And I'll see you again after a short pfft. Oh guys, what is going on here? I just had a look on the screen from inside and it was at 1.8 volts. So I said, mm, going slowly over to the garage and now I'm here and it's at one volts. Okay, I hope it goes further than one volts? Yes, it does. Okay, well, we keep discharging. And also, the capacity has somehow increased in this um, salty battery. So we are coming close to 1.5 ampere hours now. A lot more capacity in this cell than we measured before. Does it mean we need to cycle these salt batteries a couple of times until they get their full capacity? Because this one has maybe done now 40, 50 cycles, but only one all the way down to zero. So let's uh, watch the charge curve at uh, 0.6 volts now. And it goes further down, <laughs> it is really steep now. Wow, that is insane. Current is still 0.65 amps, 0.5 C, 0.4 volts, 0.3 volts. Ooh, look at the current. The current is actually going down. So that means the cell cannot deliver this, um, this current anymore. Or is this the bottom now of the tester? So it cannot really go down to zero volts. Let's see what happens. It charges down to 0 0.3 volts. And now the current is tapering off. That is interesting. 
I'll I'll let it run. I'm not interfering with anything. I'll just um, watch it and. Um... Guys, I'm watching this curve from inside the house for the last 40, 45 minutes or so since we actually hit this uh, 0.3 volts and it, it doesn't make sense. So this is where we hit the 0.3, 0.324 volts. And I thought it is a limitation of the tester maybe, so it cannot go further down than 0.3 volts, but that's not the case. You can see the current has tapered off since to a point where we had uh, 0.1 amps and then it went to zero. There, we've got 0.1 amps. This is the minimum the tester can obviously measure. And then it went to zero. And the voltage was at 245 millivolt. And now we are at 209 millivolt. So obviously there are still current flowing under 0.1 amps and it's discharging our battery. So the tester doesn't show the current anymore. Okay, let's take the clamp meter and see what we can measure. Oh, that is, I would say that is nothing. Okay, we've got zero here without anything. And here, oh, I would say this is, okay, let me, let me get this twice through here. 30 milliamps, 50, 40, 50 milliamps it shows. This is very thin ice here and leaves a lot of room for speculations. So definitely we are under 0.1 amps and the tester doesn't show this anymore. But we are still discharging the battery obviously, otherwise the voltage would not go down, right? And you can also see the time is still running. We are, the tester is running for over three hours now. If I stop the test now, we will see the voltage going up now. So I'm not sure, should I leave it until we hit zero volts? But this could take hours, right? This could take hours. I mean, this this voltage curve here is flattening out. So again, not a real test to 0.0, .0 volts. Okay, guys, I would say I stop the testing now and we um, we see how the voltage bounces back and then leave it for another 10, 15 minutes or so and then we call it. All right, then we've got our and then we've got our maximum discharge curve we can actually achieve with the equipment I have. <laughs> okay, stop. There we go. Okay, and immediately voltage is rising. And the monitor is still on, so we are still capturing the voltage curve. Okay, leave this running until quarter to five and um, then we have a final look and then that's it. That's it then. I'm done. <laughs> wow, that is very bright here. The sun is reflecting on the big shed. I should put some solar panels there. Very bright. Okay guys, I think so far this um, test discharging the sodium batteries to zero volts. We can see it discharged to, to 209 millivolt and then we turned off the charger. So the voltage has now recovered to 1.542 volts. We've got a beautiful discharge curve now and a beautiful recovery curve. What else can you ask for? So looking at this curve now, it seems like we have another plateau at 0.3 volts of the cell. And this was exactly when the current tapered off as well. So obviously the cell is not able to deliver these 0.65 amps anymore at 0.3 volts and the current goes down quickly, but the voltage stays fairly constant. What is that? This is 100 millivolt on this bottom plateau here, but the current would taper off anyway quickly. Interesting, what do you think? Is there another plateau? Is there something happen with the chemistry at this voltage, which causes this plateau to appear here in the curve? Because usually we don't discharge that low. So let's have a look at the 1.5 volt mark. This is exactly here, so 1.38 ampere hours and here we have 1.415 ampere hours at 0.35 volts so as expected there's no capacity gain charging that low and not that any of our equipment could actually support such a low voltage so even we can discharge the cells so low uh, it just doesn't make sense right Anyway, guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for all your support here, for all your for all your comments under the videos. And welcome to the channel to all these new subscribers. Amazing. 
and thank you very much to all these donors spat if you don't know what this means well you will find out until the next video guys you stay charged stay safe and thanks again for watching see you then bye bye yeah exactly bye bye sodium batteries for a while i probably will continue doing tests with the sodium batteries and if i find something very interesting i'll make another video but for now we say goodbye to these 18650 sodium cells because we have to move on there's more there's more <laughs> okay see you in the next video